Hello friends, my name is Josue Ayala and this is Lost Planet 2. Now, at this point you might be wondering to yourself, Josue, are you just going through your Steam library and just picking any random game to play for your channel? To which I would reply, of course not, that's absolutely silly. Overwatch isn't even on Steam, so how could you, how could you even say that? Although, I will admit that this is... A bit of an odd choice. I mean, nobody really cares about Lost Planet 2. I don't think anybody cared about Lost Planet 2 when Lost Planet 2 was brand new and it was plastered on whatever they could manage to plaster it on. I mean, they talk a lot about how it sold well when it was first released, but I can't, I can't say that it... I don't remember it being particularly hyped about, but Anyways, I'm mostly playing this because I want to play uh, Monster Hunter and because Capcom is averse to success and love and the admiration of its fans, Monster Hunter is sequestered to the 3DS. Which is fine, except I can't record that. So, here we are. Lost Planet 2 is about as close to Monster Hunter as you can get without getting the Japanese Monster Hunter Frontier thing, which... Uh, uh, to hell with that. Let's go ahead and create a game, and since we're a lonely sort, we'll play offline. Um, chapter... what are we on? Chapter 2? Or episode 2? Chapter 1? I mean, I'm not... I'm not gonna worry about you guys being lost because, frankly, I'm lost. I don't know what's going on, so there's no point in, um, doing, in starting out in the beginning in an attempt to fill you guys in. There is no being filled in with Lost Planet 2. It's a lost cause, if you will. Let's begin the mission. I'm playing with a controller because despite the fact that I've got a lovely little mouse with which to play Overwatch and everything, I like to play third-person games with a controller. And if that's a problem, then I apologize. Oh, what do we got here? Here's your mission briefing. It's a uh... vehicle the carpet baggers are building. They've been keeping it secret from Nevik, and we want to know what it is. I thought they were working for us. Not quite. For the past few years, huh. we've allowed them to build certain machinery and weapons with technology we've provided. You'll be going up against the carpet baggers. Some of their activities have been tolerated on the carpet baggers. Alright, so right now I'm running at 24 frames a second according to Shadowplay, and I don't know if that's the game or just the cutscene. And I'm a little bit concerned. Those do not look like- oh, okay, I take it back. I was gonna say they don't look like Cyclopses, but I was wrong. Missiles, they don't even blow up. Good luck, Task Force First Descent. You don't have to patronize this. Who's being patronizing? Your team is responsible for countless successful missions. You do us all proud. Yeah, so proud that okay. no one ever replaces the operatives we lose on missions. As far as Nevik's concerned, we're just expendable assets. Don't know who Nevik is, but they sound kind of like a Wayland Yutani type. Roger that. Somewhat of a rebellion in Central City and a section has been seized by some I'd like to see a, a video game, or indeed any piece of pop culture, where the corporation is just kind of alright. You know, people kind of suspect it of doing something malicious, and then it turns out it's like, no, we're, we're good. Uh, we're just here because our employees work here. Uh, we're actually just going to give out to charity all of our potential profits. I don't know how invested you guys are in this cutscene. If I'm, if my talking is annoying you, I apologize. But I think that guy had some kanji on his weird helmet, which by rights should blind him. 
Also fish. Oh my god, look at that thing. Failure is not an option on this mission. Lock and load. Okay, so if you were lost, uh, don't worry. It's normal. I don't think anybody who's played Lost Planet 2 knows what's happening either. Uh, myself included. Alright, so currently I'm going at 24 frames a second, according to my shadow play that is unacceptable um one second let's see if we can adjust the options here um no shit pc settings there it is look at th what is this yeah okay that should, that's better. Look at that. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that because I think I have to upload to 30 frames a second anyways, but trust me when I say it's better. All right. Um, I actually totally forgot how to play this game. It's been a while. Okay. R2, I believe, is to shoot, and then L2 is grenades. Circle is, okay. We got it. We got it. We're good. I don't know what it is about... Capcom, but they sometimes like to give their games like just ridiculous control schemes. Like with this one, I had I had to fiddle around a bit and whoa, and just barely make it acceptable in any way, shape, or form. Like I, I pressed L two, like L one is to you know zoom in like that. R two is to shoot. R one is reload. L two is grenades. Like it's madness. Shit. I don't know if that I don't know if I could blow up that light, but it I would imagine seeing as how <laughs> Okay. Seeing as how I think I'm supposed to be like some sort of solid snake type, I'll try to be as sneaky as I can be. Not going well, I'll admit. There it is. How can they see me? They have these giant fuck off diving helmets basically they look like steam they look like steampunk fishermen it's okay there it is now i said before that i picked this game because i want i wanted to play monster hunter and that may seem a little bit odd but if you've never played Monster Hunter, trust me when I say that this game, uh, not this mission, but this game in general, feels a lot like they were trying to be the next Monster Hunter, but fundamentally forgot what made Monster Hunter popular. Like, for one thing, Monster Hunter did not care about story. It, it just didn't. There it is. Like, as far- my favorite Monster Hunter a Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, like literally its story was you're just some fucker who showed up on a mountain and got, you know, got his ass kicked by some giant monster thing. Some villagers saw you and they were like, yeah, we'll take care of him, fuck it. You wake up and they're like, right, so you were killed by, you were killed by some giant fuck off dragon thing. And we think that you're the guy who's supposed to be working here, so you know, you can have the flat for a bit. And, you know, maybe do some of, you know, maybe work for us a little bit, and if you become strong enough, maybe you'll kill him. And you know what? Halfway through the game, you do kill him. And it's not really that big of a deal. They're like, oh, how about that? But, uh, you still need to keep doing your job, you know, you can't just flake on us. And that was awesome! Like, believe it or not, that was good. Oh, he completed the mission, apparently. That's that's good. Um, look at this guy. 
Oh, look at that. We got an A, a student. He's so happy. Just gun in the air. Alright. Okay, so now we're loading. This is good. There it is. Look at him. But yeah, a Monster Hunter didn't treat you oh, as like a world saving hero. You were literally just doing your job. Which meant that it could throw quest after quest after quest after quest at you and it felt okay. Because it was literally just doing what you were what you're paid to do, you know? It worked for a multiplayer setting where you're encouraged to group up with a bunch of other people and come together. Okay. Which isn't to say that this is a bad multiplayer game. I have never played it in I've never played it in multiplayer, but I'm sure I mean it seems fine. People even now were oh shit. You know, even now people were looking for others to play with, so I mean, it has to have some appeal to it, but it's not... It's not Monster Hunter. And it's just not... I mean, the, um, the setup is a bit too odd. The story makes no sense, and there's no Insect Glaive, which is just a mark against it. Oh, yeah, they got my little bat battle tower, that's good. Yeah, no Insect Glaive, which is a crime because the insect glaive is just artistry artistry in motion and it's quite possibly the most ridiculous weapon I have ever seen god I wish I could be playing that instead I'm not having a terrible time with this like it's not like it's not like I'm dreading every second of playing this or anything like that like it's it's not bad. It's just, you know... It feels kind of like... There it is. Okay. It feels kind of like it's just trying a bit too hard. Which I hate as a criticism, but it's true. Like, it wanted to be the next big thing, and it, it just isn't. It really, really isn't. And I think they knew that by considering how much they changed. They tried to change the formula with, like, each Lost Planet game. And I think this one is probably their best attempt. I like this one. Wasn't interested in the others. Let's pick up... Yeah, we'll pick that up. Plasma grenade. There you go. Oh. Weird cover thing. There it is. I do like this hook shot though. That's good. Did you hear that? He said that was my brother. Okay. Right. I almost died. <laughs> Let's, uh... Can I crouch? I don't... Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, I have to hold L... I have to hold, uh... L3, though. That's... That's madness. I can't do that. Alright, so they blew up my... Cover. That's fine. Attack! Attack! No survivors! Oh, shit. <laughs> He's a madman. <laughs> Did you see that? He blew himself up so that his comrades might live. Wow, I respect. That's... That's a hero. That's... That man will go down in history. They're like, this is the guy who blew himself up for the cause. It didn't work. You know, the guy still came through, but what a man. What, what a guy. He's gonna be like Gavrilo P Princip or something of his people, I assume. I, cause I don't know what the hell is going on in this thing, but you know, we we went through. That was that was fun. What are these? Oh shit! <laughs> There's still a sniper alive. Oh, that's gotta be embarrassing. 
He tried to get a shot in. He was like, that guy blew himself up. I can't compete. Just, gotcha. I shoot at you. Dicks. What an embarrassment. His, the soldiers are, sh you know, his fellow comrades are probably ashamed of that bastard. Can only get a shot in. While the other dude, like, self-destructed himself. Which is redundant. If you self-destruct, you're obviously destructing yourself. I, I apologize. It's a little bit late. And I don't have a I don't have a drink with me. I feel like I should. That would probably make this a whole lot easier if I had a, a glass of rum. But we'll ignore that for now. Oh, there it is. Activate it earlier. You'll meet an early demise. I should note that I didn't press A to continue. It's just the game was so frustrated so impatient that it decided to do it itself. Um, although you wouldn't know that it was in a hurry judging by this loading screen. Hmm. Actually, are you doing anything, my friend? Oh my god. Oh my god. So, alright. This is, uh, this is interesting. I should probably, uh, mention that I didn't say oh my god for no reason. I, uh, made a promise to a friend that I would... Oh. Oh, we got these people now. I made a promise to a friend that I would say, oh my god, in one of these things, because they're convinced that I sound like Bob from Bob's Burgers, which is, of course, H. John Benjamin, and I would be complimented by that because I love H. John Benjamin, but I, I don't think I sound like him, but, you know, I'll give it a shot, let the internet decide, and, uh, I'll throw out some Bobisms that I can just sort of think of. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have an idea. You should kill Jimmy Pesto. <clears throat> yes, that's right, Gene. I do. I love turkey. Um. Oh my god, this is bad. This is really bad. What else can we do? Just just stand next to the grill. That way, the uh, the sweat will look more more natural. That's that's all I can think of, and I'm I'm willing to bet that this this isn't going to this isn't going to continue. It seems that it's it's done. I don't. I mean, I don't know why I was offended. That was probably the best gameplay. I've done, honestly, on this channel, which is pathetic, because that was, oh, that was pretty bad, but I got A's on it, that's, that's good, yeah, he's, he's happy for me. Um, well, I guess it's not going to do anything, so, that was fun, this was, uh, this was good in short, I mean, I don't know how long I've been doing this, but it's probably not worth uploading. I don't, it's fine. I'll upload it anyways. And um, we'll we'll go back to playing a game that wants to be played next time. I promise. This is this is no good. Uh, I had uh, I had stuff I wanted to talk about. I. I wanted to talk a little bit about Monster Hunter and how my favorite monster is the Gormagala, which I'm pretty sure is everybody's favorite monster. And before that, it was the um, the Eon Garuga because I thought it looked kind of like like a weird chicken bat, and that was that was fun. And then I hate the Gypsaros, fucking rubber turkey monster, but no, I can't talk about any of that anymore. And, uh, that's, that's disappointing, but, 
It's okay. I, um, I guess we'll just go then. Uh, please, uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. Not this specifically. This obviously has no intention of cooperating with me, but something else. I'll play something else. If you like to hear my voice, my sultry, possibly Bob-sounding voice, you know, like and subscribe if you like and subscribe if you want more of that or if you want um, if you want to leave a comment or you know voice a concern that would be good too you know it's all up to you this is this is as much yours as it is mine so with that I'm going to go away now goodbye I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless lakes of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk a shattered visage lies, Whose frown, wrinkled lip, and sneer of cold command Tells that its sculptor well those passions read, which yet survive. Stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed, and on the pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look upon my works, ye mighty, and despair. Nothing beside remains, round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare. The lone and level sands stretch far away. Piece of shit.